What's the most annoying and repetitive commercial you've ever seen on TV? Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Not sure how national it was. But there's this carpeting company, Empire Today, that had this really annoying commercial. It just went singing. 800 588 2300 Empire voiceover today. It was on all the time. I think that really annoyed me about it was that they didn't even try to come up with theme song. They just sang their phone number. It doesn't rhyme or anything. It's my money and I want it now. Quote, if you are a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Edit tab, Education Connection matched me with the right college for free. Get connected for free at Education Connection. Quote, call JG Wenworth 877 cash now. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. IDK about TV but do you wanna play Ray Shadow Legends? No I don't shut the fuck up. This may come as no surprise. But the game fucking sucks. I thought that maybe they had a bunch of money to sink into it. Because their advertising budget is so large. But no. Why the fuck is Jake from State Farm relevant again? That commercial was like 10 years ago and now he's the face of the fucking company like he's some bastard that I am supposed to trust. He sounds hideous anyway. Liberty Mutual Insurance's Lima Emu commercials. I will never use that insurance company specifically because these commercials are so bad. I think they should change their slogan to Liberty Biberty. And Doug, technically it's the radio but, asterisk 1 to 877 cars for kids asterisk. Flo, she was forgotten. Then they brought her back. Asterisk why did they bring her back? Asterisk, she looks like she doesn't even want to be at Progressive anymore. She makes seven figures a year. I think she is exactly where she wants to be. She's probably by far the most successful commercial actor ever. Right. I mean I would say Jared but he kinda squandered that. Jared left to do what he loved. Jared ended his career the same way he started it trying to get into a smaller pair of pants. I don't know if I'd call it annoying. But the Education Connection song from approximately 10 years ago is a hell of an ear were monsieur. Always, always at like 1.30 a.m. Every night, every adult swim commercial break. Drove me insane then but it's kind of a nice nostalgia boost now though. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea tilde, nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea tilde. Sing that in a western accent. We stupid pig glad it's not on anymore. Geico commercials are the fucking worst. As an American, I can't stand seeing commercials for prescription drugs. 10 seconds of commercial 45 minutes of warnings. Edit. But seriously who the fuck is asking their doctor for TV drugs? If I need medication for cystic fibrosis or whatever I'm going to a fucking specialist. I cannot go another day without air conditioning. Says tomorrow is going to be hotter. Hotter. Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You'll call now. I'll call now. What's the paper say about tomorrow? Another scorcher. Cool. I can't stop seeing the edit with the gun. Every commercial on Hulu, they play the same shit every time. I remember when Hulu did not have a paid version and was only browser-based. They played the trailer for Sasha Baron Cohen's Bruno every time. To the point where I hate that movie despite never watching it. DeVry University, Phoenix University, and Geico insurance commercials. Specifically the surprising Geico ads. Geico's had like 20 different ad campaigns that all feel kinda the same. I don't watch TV but I'm getting sick of the ads on YouTube for Facebook. The worst ones are the TikTok adverts. The pictures of sad, starving kids with Sarah McLaughlin's Will You Remember Me in the background. The pet ones are the worst. And the one with big cats. They also have one for Babuskas now too. Political ads. Those ads are so transparently misleading and corny. 
No matter what party is pushing it, how do people fall for them? Because they just reinforce people's existing biases. This commercial says the person I already like is good, and the person I already dislike is bad. That's exactly what I thought. I knew I was right. Quote. Pretty much all car insurance commercials. Liberty Mutual with that damn emu. Asterisk asterisk take my hand. I-C-A-N-S-A-V-E-Y-O-U. Asterisk 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 Q weird emu noises. The new Jake from State Farm ads are also annoying too. Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly's tilde asterisk chorus. O'Reilly's asterisk auto o parts. Ow, fuck this commercial to its very core. Respectfully, I disagree with your opinion. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It's a croy made a pay moa than a doime. I'm guessing you're from the Philly area, I hear that commercial all the time on WMMR. Hell I live in South Carolina and hear that is all the time. Liberty Boochel, Liberty Biberty, I don't give half a shit if their insurance is better, cheaper, changes my life. That will never make up for the anguish those ads have caused me. Fuck you, and fuck your emu too. All the parts your car will ever need rockauto.com That fucking women's deodorant commercial with the all strength. No sweat song. What the fuck is that? A gay man asked me what I named my penis. I told him, secret cause it's strong enough for a man. But made for a woman. Don't take Zyrtec if allergic to Zyrtec. If y'all have or live with kids. Those ads on kids TV channels look shady, scammy as fuck. All. Of. The Monsieur. When I was quite a bit younger I believe I was watching MTV with my sister and all of a sudden this commercial comes on and just repeatedly yells, system of a down, before ending with no further explanation. SOAD was relatively new at the time, and I now realize what I saw, but I remember the two of us just cracking up laughing as soon as it ended. I keep getting ads for Grammarly on YouTube. I am never going to use that software so it's annoying. An app that looks at everything you write and sends it to a server. Brilliant. Don't. It sucks. Attention parents and grandparents of young children. Gerber Life is accepting applications for the affordable Grow Up Plan. The Grow Up Plan gives your child $10,000 in whole life insurance protection now then doubles automatically to $20,000 later at no extra cost. Start now for just pennies a day. That goddamn three-minute epic of a commercial trying to sell us a 20-movie Shirley Temple DVD box set. Animal crackers in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits loop the a loop. I'm already getting annoyed by political ads for Democrats who spend the entire commercial saying how much Trump sucks. They're not even running against Trump. Most are state-level positions, but rather than state their own policies. Or why they're better than their opponent. It's just, I hate Trump more than the other guy. Vote for me. That's most political ads they just smear each other. It's just disgusting. Hush, hush baby. I think it's a downy detergent ad. Who says hush like that? LMAO I know what you're talking about and the answer is no one says it like that. Hotel, Trivago, exclamation mark. That guy in his ill-fitting clothes. Haven't watched TV since 2016. But Spotify isn't usable without premium BC every five songs you get the same two ads. I endured three years of Spotify without premium monsieur some may call me a hero. Others may call me a madman. Either way, I'm a survivor. After a month I started to lose my mind. But then I realized, this is what they want. They're trying to drive me insane until I finally give in. I knew I couldn't let myself slip down their perfectly crafted slope. All my friends fell victim to the Spotify overlords. But I told myself, they would never to get me. For three long years I listened to my playlist I don't even bother tapping now to listen to 30. Minutes of ad-free music. I've taught myself to enjoy the ads. 
Every time an ad comes on, I force myself to smile. Sometimes I begin laughing as tears stream down my eyes. Some may call me crazy but I knew it was the only way. After three years I got Amazon Music and now I'm free from Spotify's chains. But sometimes I see a young and innocent person tap the Spotify app. I watch in horror as they begin playing their music. And an ad plays. The memories food in and all I can do is pray that this poor human being can resist and stay strong. As I did. But then I sit and wonder. Was it worth it? Asterisk the flashbacks. They still come at night asterisk why was I there? Just to suffer. And most of the time, the ads are for their own premium monsieur. I'm going old school to those carrot top the 10th of October 220 collect calling ads from the 90s. It's free for you and cheap for the monsieur. The fucking progressive insurance commercials. Flo's voice is just so damn annoying. I don't watch commercials commercials watch me. In communist Russia you don't watch commercial, commercial watch you. Soviet national anthem intensifies. State Farm, she shed, commercial. I liked it for a bit. It's not a commercial but have you ever heard of, Polaris Player Select. TBH you could probably put on Disney XD right now and it'll be on. It's always on. Basically they take videos from YouTube and make them more kid-friendly and half the edits they make are taking the YouTuber's head and putting it on some stock image and repeating what they said. If you don't understand then like I said just turn on Disney XD. It is the main show why I no longer watch Disney XD. My question is isnt it illegal to take videos from YouTubers for 4 years? How is it still going on? Also, the commercials are annoying too. They treat the show like it's their best show. And they are a little repetitive as well. I always assumed they paid the YouTubers for their use or something. Cars 4 kids needs to die yesterday. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. Your desire. I worked at a Jackson Hewitt inside of a Walmart for two seasons. There was a monitor behind me that played that commercial on repeat. There was this Chef Boyardee commercial where a girl is pouting because her mom won't buy her a can. So the can rolls all the way to their house. It made me irrationally angry as a child. Anyone remember that your baby can read thing? Fuck that. Also is Scamasure. If Hulu ads count those fucking Fabletics commercials. The Amazon Music commercials where the lips are singing. The Match.com commercials with Courtney telling people that she likes nice guys. And then the Facebook Messenger commercial that used all together now from the Beatles in. Completely ruined it. Bob's discount furniture with the uncomfortable claymations. Also any poorly made local ads that are painfully awkward. Going back a ways. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. All the medicine commercials. They talk about what it does, how it's better than other standard medicines. Ask your doctor about underscore 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 today. After some other guy rambles over how it does just as well as a suicide medication. Car shield, annoying as hell. 0800 00 1066. I actually sung that in my head XD. That one commercial about clearer skin that keeps going, nothing is everything. Skyrizy, SP. Oh 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 The Liberty Mutual ones with the emu or whatever the fuck, it is drive me absolutely nuts. It comes on several times in a couple of hours too. Those are the stupidest ads. Meow Mix. Once this ad in India when I went there for a holiday played 13 times in a row or with one ad in between. A local car dealership in my area. Asterisk it's always better at burger. Asterisk. I've got three I know like that. Everyone said. Go to Medved. Quote dot. Get it at Galpin. Galpin Ford rap song commercial. And yes Aritos commercials. The one with the fake smiley people and the cans of Goya beans. 1-800-97-JENNY 1-800-98-JENNY 1-800-99-JENNY I was so happy when we hit 2000. 
The only phone number that should be associated with the name Jenny is 867-5309. Damn you. This is worse than the game. Which you just lost. Greater than the game you little shit. Our angry upvote. It still won 800-94 Jenny in my head. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.